Hello and welcome to Combining Lots of Tables. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. How can I combine lots of tables that are in the same workbook? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. So the idea is we have a single workbook that contains many tables. For example, we have this table one sheet and it has a table. We have this table two sheet, it has another table, another table and another table and so on. So this one workbook contains many tables we'd like to combine. To do that, we go to data, get data, from other sources, blank query. This opens the Power Query Editor. What we want to do is type equals Excel dot current workbook and there it shows up in my drop down so I'm just going to select it. Then we do an open and close paren and hit enter. And as you can see, this single command returns a list of all of the tables inside this workbook. And the good news is in future periods, when we add new tables, all we need to do is click refresh. We don't need to rebuild this query. Then what we do is we expand and click OK. And just like that, we've combined the data from all of the tables. And in this far column, we can even see the table's name. Once this is complete, we can close and load to the table in an existing worksheet and we'll click OK. And I'll close this queries and connections pane and there we have it. But what if going forward, we add a new table? How does that work? Well, that leads us to the next exercise. Exercise two. So far, our query has pulled in all of the tables that exist, table one, two, three, and four. Let's click on this table five tab. Since these values are not stored in a table, they were excluded from the query. So let's turn this into a table. We select any cell and insert table. We click OK. Now we have another table and let's name it table five. Currently, our query returns tables one, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and right click and refresh. And now it's like, wait, what? We get a whole bunch of blank cells called query one. We don't even know what that is. But if we scroll down a bit, we see that we do get table one, two, three, four, and five. So it did include our new table. But let's think about this for a second. I said that that excel.currentworkbook command includes all tables in the workbook and that includes our results table. So this results table is then included in the next like refresh. So how do we make sure we don't set up this kind of circular reference where the results are then going into the next refresh? Well, that leads us to the next exercise. Exercise three. Let's go back and edit the query. To do that, we're gonna click data and queries and connections. And by the way, you can toggle this pane on or off at any time. Then I'm gonna edit the query by double clicking. And this opens the Power Query Editor. Let's click on this source step. Here we can see that we have table one, two, three, four, and five. We also have the results table, which is named query one. And by the way, we can change that name if we want to by changing it right here. So what we can do is just apply a filter. So I'm gonna select the name column, use this drop down, select text filters. Now this is very flexible, so depending on what you're working on, you could choose to include only the tables that begin with the word table or any other text string. And there's many choices, so depending on what you're working on, you wanna check out those options. In this case, we're gonna say we want all of the tables except for the one that's called query one. So except for the one that does not equal. Then we click insert. And now I'm gonna say, keep the rows where the name does not equal query one and click okay. And now that's been filtered out of the results. The expanded content step still works. So now we can click close and load. And let me close the queries and connections pane. And now I have tables one, two, three, four, five. And in future periods, I can refresh without including the results table. In addition to using right click and refresh, just so you know, we can also just head to data and refresh. And there you have it. That's how we can use Power Query to combine lots of tables from the same workbook and make it easy to refresh anytime we add a new table. And the good news is, even if the columns are in different orders, as long as they have the same column labels, they'll end up exactly where you want them. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 